Hey Mago, today we're going to be talking about the best way to play Genshin. Of course, this is a pretty opinionated piece, but I do have a pretty decent amount of experience with all the different ways to uh, play, and whether that is with keyboard and mouse, a phone, another phone, but just pretend it's a tablet, because I actually probably have the most experience with a tablet, but I don't really have that here, and there's not really enough space anyway. And then, of course, we also have controller. And then there are various platforms like PC, PS5, PS4. Is there Switch? By now, haven't checked, haven't played on Switch, not gonna talk about it. And yeah, mobile as well. So let's move all this stuff out of the way. I think Chi Chi is getting a little encumbered there. Let's talk about the good old classic first, which is of course playing on a mouse pad. Uh, yes, this is a uh, new revolution of technology. It's pretty crazy how thin and flexible screens have become, and you can also double and use it as a mouse pad as well. It's pretty sick. Obviously, playing with this does have its downsides. You know, I can't really see half of the screen, and because of the mouse pad is in a strange aspect ratio, my mini map is cut off up here, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, but overall, you know, just it's a new level of immersion, I would say. All jokes aside, I probably play like this the second most. Uh, this is when I'm making a video or when I'm streaming. Uh, because it's basically the most convenient, you know, I already have all my stuff set up, keyboard and mouse, I'm pretty much used to the whole control scheme in the meantime as well. I haven't changed much from default. Playing on PC in general, whether that is with a controller or with a keyboard and mouse, is going to give you the best sort of experience here, you know. With a decently powerful system, you can play at, you know, much higher resolutions. For the sake of recording, I do stick in 1080p though. You know, 60 FPS, easy peasy. So visually, graphically, just the gameplay experience, I would say, is going to be best on PC regardless. However, there are some pros and cons as well. I want to at least do like one battle in each of these. So let's go ahead and start with these guys here. Going to get Zhongli out. Going to Hu Tao. Can see a little bit how, I guess, I play. I'm pretty sure all my keyboard shortcuts are exactly the uh, same. As default, I didn't really change anything. Because I think at the beginning, you couldn't really change anything, even with keyboard. So I just kind of had to get used to it. Um, and so I got used to it. And now it's like, why should I change it now? <laughs> oh yeah, C6 Binet. I can't do anything to that guy. Pros and cons to keyboard and mouse setup with PC. First con, it is a lot less mobile than a phone or even a tablet. Especially if you're going to be playing with keyboard and mouse. Because then you got a keyboard and a mouse you got to take with you. As well as your desktop and then a monitor. It's... Uh, really not mobile at all so it's really for stationary play the main pro again is just really smooth crisp gameplay more specific to keyboard and mouse is the much easier aiming with bow characters let's go ahead and see some of that right here boom i hit all of them plus with the with with the first shot you didn't see anything but yeah there we go so for me that's definitely the main benefit of using keyboard and mouse the easier aiming with bow users for PC plus keyboard and mouse, I'm going to give that an A tier. Next, we're going to be looking at PC with controller. Controller is very easy to pair to a PC as long as you have Bluetooth, which most of them do. And if you don't, Bluetooth dongles are like $12. Then you can pick up, a, a, you know, a PS4 controller. I think Xbox controllers also work. Probably even third-party knockoff brands work as well. But then, you know, you set it up how you like. We can get this out of here. It's way harder to aim with controller, not only because I have switched the defaults, um, but um, for aiming, we have to hold square, and I have to do that with my pointer finger, uh, because then we have to move the same joystick to actually aim it around. You see, if we held it with our thumb, uh, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> um, but this is how I have, like, all other sort of open world RPG sort of games circle to, in this case, dash, but it's usually evade for me. X to jump, square for basic attacks, triangle for interacting or picking up things, as you can see here. And uh, these are obviously the same, switching characters around. It's pretty nice. I think my most comfortable way to play is actually controller plus iPad. iPads are strong enough to run this game super smoothly. And especially in the 12.9 inch version of the iPad Pros, um, it gives you a pretty good experience. So like, you know, when I'm chilling on the couch, got my iPad there, paired up to the controller in a few seconds, boom, we're ready to go. And that's probably my favorite way to play, even though bow users are still pretty hard to use. It still works, but yeah, it's obviously a lot harder. You can see my awkward, like, hand position over there. It works, but it's not ideal, especially in, like, harder situations. But of course, with regular characters, it's much easier to control. Um, just go ahead and... I should have done her... R1 first, but that's not the problem of the controller, honestly. I just kind of forget to do that sometimes. Um, but yeah, you know, 
it's just so nice, so simple. You know, you have your hands together instead of all, all, all out here with the keyboard. It's less comfortable for me uh, to have, you know, my, my hands spread out like that. Just mm, gripping something like this. I love playing with controller, honestly. I will not do that with FPS in general, though, which I don't play very often, but uh, keyboard and mouse all the way for FPS. But I think for everything else, even Genshin, I do prefer controller. So controller plus PC, I'm gonna also give an A tier, but like, pretend it's A plus, so maybe a little bit ahead of keyboard mouse PC. I rate the experience as a whole, and for me, this is just more comfortable. As far as I know, there aren't really any other ways to control Genshin besides controller or keyboard and mouse there may be some other like weird devices like maybe some you know gaming pads where it just has like the keys you need i've seen those i've been interested but i haven't actually bought one ever we of course also have unfortunately i think this phone is dead so we're probably gonna have to use our iphone we also of course have playing on the phone which is actually very hard with this current setup we have um <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep it in frame so you can see, um, but also I have to look down and it's kind of tough. Um, I'm not sure if you can even see anything because it's like uh, super small and um, the camera I'm using is actually pretty garbo. Regardless, it's fine. I don't play on phone very often because I have a tablet. I am quite sure you can uh, also pair controllers to phones. Oh god, it has the default setup. But yeah, you can also just get a little stand, and I'm pretty sure they also have like clip-ons for actual controllers where you can have your phone right above. And I would say that's a pretty good and even more mobile experience than, you know, with like the tablet and everything. And, uh, you know, this is pretty good as well. I got no complaints. Controller plus phone, I'm probably gonna give like a B tier, but controller plus tablet, that's like, I think, S tier, at least for me personally. I just love how comfortable it is. It looks super funky because I'm in a grassy area right now and also have a green screen running. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah, you know, it's fine. When we're talking about no controller and just touch screen, this is okay as well. I don't like touch controls as much as controller. A C for phone, a B for tablet, because on tablet, at least, you know, with like a little folio or a stand of some sort. The buttons are bigger, it's more comfortable than with, you know, a phone and everything is kind of crammed together. It works and you get used to it after a while. So there you have it, I guess. My preferred way to play is with... We're, 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 we're gonna have to move everything else out of the way, probs. So yes, this, you know, with like a, a keyboard sort of dock. This is one from Logitech. We also went ahead and turned off the green screen. All, all the magic is gone, but um because, you know, playing with the screen, it's kind of weird. But you know, like specifically with this Logitech one, they're like, you know, I don't think it's meant for your hands to go in there, but you can definitely put them in there, have a sort of little grip as well. And uh, this is a pretty, pretty good way to play. Sorry about the thing is mirrored. I was looking for the option to change that, but uh, in my opinion, this is definitely better than phone. It is obviously a little less mobile. Like you're not going to be trying to play this on a train or something, probably, unless you want some weird looks. But um, even aiming is a lot easier as well because of how much bigger the screen is. Your little fine adjustments, you know, they can be more fine. Aiming still isn't that great on mobile in general, but uh, definitely not bad. Obviously, it's a lot more uncomfortable right now because I'm trying to keep everything in frame and, you know, it's just a little awkward. But, you know, it's much nicer when you're just chilling on the couch. You have this big enough screen, you know, you just plop it somewhere and then connect your controller. It's pretty nice. Uh, not sponsored by Apple, by the way. I'm, I'm sure some Android tablets can run it decently nice as well. Um, and the, you should be able to connect controllers to them too. So whatever your preference is, this is my favorite. But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time, Jutsu.